Alex. I'm here to talk to you about the narwhal. What an incredible creature. Like most cetaceans, narwhals are very social creatures. They travel in pods of 5 to 10 while hunting, and they communicate using a clicking dialect. Narwhals migrate from the Arctic seas to warmer, shallower waters during the summer in order to breed. They travel in packs from 5 to 10 and move along the coast and go into bays. Sometimes narwhal gatherings in the summer have up to 100 narwhals. Their migrating patterns are very consistent. Each year, the same narwhals travels to the same bay around the same time. They can grow from 13 to 20 feet long and up to 3,500 pounds. That's huge! So big! Narwhals are extreme divers. Their dives go up to 1,500 meters 25 for 25 minutes several times per day. During the summer, their dives are not as intense. They dive around 0 to 50 meters. As they migrate back into the Arctic waters, their dives increase. Many scientists do not know why they dive this deep, but some are suspicious that they like eating Greenland halibut, which feet rests on the bottom. No. Narwhal are pale colored spotted creatures with round porpoise like heads. Their calves are born brown with no spots. Narwhals are often called the unicorns of the sea, and it's no wonder with that huge tusk they have. They can go up 10 feet long and are primarily used for dominance rituals. Narwhals are near threatened because Inuit people have been allowed to hunt them for food because there's very little nutrition there. They are also hunted by polar bears, orcas, sharks, and walruses. About 10,000 to 45,000 narwhals are hunted per year. And here's an interesting fact. Did you know that in the 16th century, narwhal tusks were sold as unicorn horns and believed to be magical? I had no idea. That's an interesting fact. Narwhals have many adaptations to face intense pressure and very little oxygen. They have compressible rib cages and high amounts of myoglobin. Also, they have less oxygen demanding muscles and they are able to shut off blood flow to non critical organs so that the very critical organs re receive more oxygen. So beautiful.